Luke 13, the gospel that we had today, is a gospel if you look on the internet about why did the earthquake happen in Haiti? Why did the earthquake happen in Chile? The questions that we all struggle with about God? A lot of theologians quote Luke 13. And in Luke 13, what the people are asking Jesus about is that Pontius Pilate had killed some Galileans. And then 18 Galileans fell off of a tower that they were building in Siloam. It was an accident, and they had died. And the people asked Jesus, what had those Galileans done? What sins had they committed that they fell off the tower and died? Because in that world, the reason bad things happened was because you had sinned. It's like the story of the blind man. People wanted to know why he was blind. Had he done something wrong, or had his parents done something wrong? So the reason bad things happened was because we had sinned. So Jesus looks at the people when they ask him the question about the 18 people killed falling off the tower, and he, and he says to them, he doesn't explain why that happened, but what he says is that everybody sins. We all sin. And that the message for us today is actually in the gospel is repent or perish. He says that twice, repent or perish. I prefer repent and forgive. <laughs> because repent means to turn back toward God and to forgive means to let go. Let go of the things that bind us, let go of the anger that we have, let go of the things that keep us imprisoned. Is that when we are able to forgive and let go, we become free. That forgiveness is life-giving. But forgiveness is a process. And for this young woman, whose picture probably most of us have seen, it was 10 years of a process toward forgiveness. It's not something that happens overnight. It takes time. And not only does it take time, but it takes the power of Jesus. That we have to go to Jesus for help because Jesus is the ultimate one who forgives. Jesus forgave the people who nailed him to the cross and put him to death. And he forgave his tormentors on the cross. That's where we can go for help in our own forgiveness process. Because we don't make it to a certain point in life without having been hurt or harmed. I just got the Christian Century yesterday, and there was a story of people whose children had been captured in one of the Middle Eastern countries. And this one mother and father were praying desperately for their daughter who was being held in captivity. And they would gather together with other parents of these children who had been captured, and they would pray together. And they would end their prayer session with, by saying the Lord's Prayer. And when they got to the point in the Lord's Prayer that says, and we forgive those, we forgive others of their sins as we would like to be forgiven, the mother realized that she hadn't forgiven the captors who were holding her daughter. And so she went home and really examined herself. And she prayed and prayed to be able to forgive the captors who were holding her daughter. And finally, she was able to do that through the power of Jesus. She was able to forgive, and eventually her daughter was returned safely to her. Not all stories end that way. It's, it's an incredible miracle when we can let go and forgive, especially those who have caused us harm, who we feel justified in being angry at. But when we're held in that anger, we're not free. It's not life-giving. And we do perish. Pieces of us perish. So today, the message from the gospel from Jesus is, 
We can only bear fruit if we repent and forgive. And that we shouldn't spend time trying to answer questions that there are no answers to, as the questions as to why the hurricane or hurricane, the earthquake happened in Haiti or in Chile. I mean, we certainly know the geology, but we don't know where God was in that. Why does God allow those things to happen? But what we do know is God is with us in the suffering. And what we do know about life is that there is forgiveness from God. We also know that we're all sinful. We all need forgiveness and we need to forgive others as God has forgiven us. And that is what is life-giving. But the only way to do that is through the help of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.